This is another Definitive Technology Powerfield Supercube subwoofer. This is the Trinity Signature subwoofer and it was sent in with a note. DefTech Sub Trinity 2000 watts Bluetooth uses. Running it with Yamaha Preamp CXA5000. Now running a small Klipsch sub. When I powered up, I pushed the fuse pressed. Try in, sub buzz, then fuse blows. Ethan from New Carlisle, Ohio. So let's go ahead and do some basic checks on this thing and see if we can come up with some kind of a logical conclusion. Okay, so I'm thinking the first thing I want to look at is these four big MOSFETs back here on the heatsink. That is the power amplifier. And I see some other components over here. I think they're diodes because if you look closely, they only have two leads. Kind of hard to show on the camera. But I just want to check diode junctions on all of those. And if you see these four little diodes right there, 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 and there, I want to go ahead and check those as well. I see four capacitors in this neighborhood right here. I want to check those. And then there is an abundance of electrolytic capacitors over here that I want to go ahead and check before I even power this thing up. I just want to see what's going on. We'll check the two main filter caps. And then there are three other capacitors over here in the standby circuit. Let's go ahead and check those as well and see how they fare. Okay, so first, just in the diode range, I wanna go ahead and check these FETs only for shorts. I'm not gonna check anything else, just for shorts at this point. No short. No short. No short. So I'm checking gate to source, gate to drain, and then source to drain on these FETs. So let's go ahead and check those four diodes right now. I'm only looking for junctions at this point. Good junction, good junction, good junction, and good junction. So that's awesome. I don't see any shorts in the output circuit whatsoever. Next, we'll go ahead and check all the capacitors on the board with the ESR meter and see what they check like. So that you guys can follow at home, I did draw a roadmap of all the capacitors on the board, and this is the bottom of the board view so that I can keep up and quickly check these capacitors. I can reference this sheet, and it does show the polarity, so if I do need to change them, I don't trust the silk screen, as you've seen. I already have it marked down as to what the negative lead is. The little black line on the edge of the capacitor is the negative lead on all of these caps. So let's go ahead and check those and see how they check. We'll start with the main filter caps. These are 220 microfarad caps. First, lead integrity, 0, 0.00, I like that. And I see 0 0.04, I'm perfectly happy with that. And another 0.04, perfectly happy. Now this is a 220 microfarad cap at 35 volts. And I see 0.19, I'm good with 0.19. Another 220, 0 0.2 ohms, perfectly fine. This is a 470, 0.14, I'm good with that. This is a 10 at 50, 8.8. .8. I am not good with 8 ohms. And another 10 at 50, 5 ohms. Just as a point of reference, this is a 10 at 63 volts. And I see 0.67 ohms. And this is a 10 at 25 volts. And I see 0.55 ohms. I'd like to see an ohm or less on these 10 microfarad caps. Now these are 100s at 16 volts. And I see 1.4. I'm not happy with 1.4 and 1.5. Another 100, 1 1.2. Definitely high, 10 microfarad, 4.5, definitely high, 100 to 1.3, that one's bad, 10 at 50.9, I'm almost okay with that for a used cap, another 10 at 50.9, once again almost okay, another 100, 1.2, definitely high, 10 microfarad, 3 ohms, definitely high, a 100 at 16, again 1.3, I'd like to see lower, 100, 1.2, once again, like to see a little lower, 100, 2.1, definitely want to see lower on that guy, 10 at 50, 5.7, oh yeah, that thing's toast, 100 at 16, 1.5 ohms, like to see a little bit lower, another 100, 1.3, really want to see a half ohm or less on a 100. 
Another 100.83, that's almost okay. This one is a 10 at 50, 3.5 ohms, 3.2. Really like to see an ohm or less. And least, but not last. I'm not sure. Maybe it's last, but not least. A 100 at 1.3 ohms. Definitely, once again, like to see about a half ohm or a quarter ohm at most on these things. So at this point, I've checked the FETs. I did check the diodes. They all tested fine. I'd like to replace every capacitor on this board just to be safe. But next, I want to go ahead and check all the caps on the preamplifier board as well. So the first one is going to be a 100 at 25 and 2.7. I'm not good with that. These are 10s at 50, 3.2, a little bit high. 2.6, a little bit high once again. Another 10 at 50, 0.38, I'm actually good with that. These are 100s at 25, I'd like to see in half ohm or less, and I see 0.35, I'm good with that. And 0.37, perfectly fine. This is a 10 at 50, 3.3, 3.2, a little bit high in my book. 3.5, a little bit high. This is a 10 at 25, 0.2, I'm perfectly fine with that. Now this is a 22 at 50, 2.7, a little bit high. Another 22 at 50, 36 ohms. Really right now, that thing is toast. This is a 100 at 25, 0.21, I'm fine with that. Another 100 at 25, 9.9, .9, that thing is toast. 10 ohms, sad. Another 125, 0.39, I'm good with that. A 22 at 25, 4.4, definitely high. Now we're on to the big caps. 470, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, that's good. 0 0.07, good. 0 0.06, good. Two more, 10 at 50, like to see probably an ohm and a half. 2.7, a little bit high. And 3.3, definitely high. Once again, this is a brand new 10. It's only at 25, but I have 0.6 ohms. So definitely like to see about an ohm or less on a 10. So at this point, I think I'm gonna recommend to the customer that we change every capacitor on this board. Some were good and a lot were bad. And then if he approves the estimate, we'll go ahead and get the caps ordered and check back and see how we do. And just because we're here, we'll go ahead and check these two speaker coupling caps. They are 220 microfarad, 100 volt caps, and they effectively are a bandpass filter that don't pass base from the input to the output if you're using the speaker terminals right here, the high level in and the high level out. And to test those, we just need to go from the positive to positive input. I see 0 0.06, 0 0.07, I'm okay with that. And 0.14, a little bit high. I think I have some brand new ones. Let me grab one and we'll test it. So these are Nichicon 220 microfarad to 100 volt bipolar caps. They're speaker coupling caps. They're not polarized. And a brand new one tests 0 0.05 ohms. So I would probably recommend go ahead and replacing this one that is 0.14 ohms. This one at 0.08, still a little bit higher than the replacement that I have. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna give the customer an estimate and see what he wants to do. I'm gonna recommend that we change all small filter caps, including these two coupling caps, because one of them tested way out of tolerance. I'm not gonna recommend that we change the main 220 microfarad filter caps. They both tested absolutely perfectly. But every other small cap on this board, especially these in here on the MOSFET driver circuit, tested bad. So we'll see what happens. Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below, good or bad. I try to respond to the comments when I have time. While you're done, there, hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really helps my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me NorCal715videos at gmail.com. That is the best way to contact me. Please be patient. I have a full-time job and I do these repairs in my spare time. If you message me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, it might be weeks or even months before I respond because I rarely check these. If you want to contact me, please, everybody, use the Gmail address only. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Everyone, thank you for making it to the end of this diagnosis video. I really appreciate it. Everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.